Good evening. This is Strange Love, and I'm your host, Cami Chaos. Welcome, babies. Good evening, and welcome to Strange Love Live Tech Edition. I'm your host, Cami Chaos, and as always, I'm joined by Dr. Normal. Hello. This evening, we're going to tell you about something new and very exciting to us, and I hope it's going to be very exciting to you. And to start that off, I'm going to introduce you to Nico Herzog. Hi. And Kristen Kissner. Hello. Uh, who have a new show coming up called Weekly Access. Why, yes, we do. What on earth is Weekly Access? What is Weekly Access? Good question. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like I have to whisper. Um, so Weekly Access is a... Um, how would I describe it? It's sort of like a... <clears throat> You go out and we, we all, there's so much to do in Portland and, and you look at the calendar and you go, oh, t I got to pick, you know, which one do I choose? And so the idea behind weekly access is we try to at least give people another opportunity to feel like that they were part of an event that maybe they couldn't physically go to. Um, and, and also trying to choose things that maybe aren't necessarily, um, maybe at the, the top mainstream. of the list yeah yeah so you know for instance things like art openings maybe um smaller events but some music shows yeah 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 things that are that, that are definitely worthy of attention but maybe haven't gotten what they deserve yet mm -hmm. so that's kind of the idea don't you think yeah, and I definitely think that it is also an opportunity for people who don't know what's going on in the tech scene or the art scene or the uh, music scene to take a step into those events that are continual, you know, whether they're weekly, monthly, or not necessarily annually, but I guess annually would work, um, to be able to say, oh, that looks really interesting, I'm going to try that next time, or that's what I thought it was about, or oh, I'm not too into that, but yeah. still be able to, um, still be able to, uh, bring that information to people who can't necessarily get there or are just curious about it. Yeah. Um, I think we have a little uh, promotion, a, a little clip. A little teaser. A little, yeah, a little teaser to get people excited. If yeah. Dr. Normal could roll that for us. Yeah, we, we, we need to work on those hand signals. <laughs> yeah. Because that's like what you wanted to show. You're like, I was making the hand signals over here. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, don't know. I was hoping that, you know, the, the camera was pointed over at them. I'm like, so is this the little... Um, this is the uh, little uh, thing that we put together, or Christine put together. Yeah. Well, we all put together. It's the yeah. teaser. All right, let's watch it. Okay. Okay, I saw the clip earlier today. I thought it turned out really cute. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little teaser. Yeah. So, about how long have we been working on this? Uh, about <laughs> two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's actually been brainstorming um, uh, between uh, Mike and I um, for, I would say, about a month and a half now. Um, we, you know, when we started working together, we were wor working on, you know, ideas and stuff to, you know, grow um, things for Strange Love Live. And then before we knew it, we started talking about other opportunities that other information that we want to get out to Portland through, you know, p podcasts and stuff. So um, we started talking about it, taking notes. And before we know it, got Nico on board. And then uh, we started shooting video. And then we were, and then all of a sudden it's like come together, putting things together, streaming things and um, making connections. So. Mm -hmm. So what do you guys hope to do with the show? Where do you hope time-wise and, 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 and direction-wise, where do you hope the show is going to go? Where do you think it's going to go? Um, I think we're going to let it be very organic. 
Um, Good word. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think that, that as far as th there's so much energy in this town that it and it's so easy to just sort of fall into an event. And, mm -hmm. and I've found myself in several situations um, where I've just been sort of out and about and been very fortunate to have a camera on me and said, oh, I should film this. Um, for instance, uh, we have, I have a friend, um, named Peter and he was having an art opening and I said, oh, Peter's got great work. <laughs> oh yeah. And, and I said, Amazing. Oh, I have to go film him. And he was totally shocked that I showed up with a camera and I just mm -hmm. dragged him outside and I was like, just talk to me, man. I mean, people need to know about you. And, um, and, and so, you know, as, as far as length and scope, I, I think that just depending on the. The, the feel of what's going on seasonally, I, I think the show will just shape itself. Mm -hmm. um, so far, we have a lot of, of really great stories. And, you know, the teaser was part of um, uh, several of the ones that we have already filmed. And, um, yeah, I, I, I just think that as we start to take the meat out of those and and I start to hear more and more about opportunities, we'll just we'll just go. Absolutely. And it's all about, you know, people accepting and wanting us to come in and hopefully um, getting us aware because, mm -hmm. you know, of course, we can only know about so many different things. And, you know, there are still um, events and stuff that are going on or art shows or music events that are going on that people are like, mm -hmm. I want to get noticed, but I just don't know how. And, you know, even though we may, you know, have a small group that we um, are able to reach out to in the beginning, we hope that it grows bigger and bigger, at least here in Portland, yeah. so people can go out and learn about those people and get to know those people. Um, on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Yeah. And so if you want to, this is a good idea, if you guys want to tell Nico and Christine about an event that maybe they should be covering and they should maybe check out, you can email them at weeklyaccess at gmail.com. Yes. Mm -hmm. Or you can go to the Twitter account, which is Weekly Access yes. on Twitter, uh, or the website, which is weeklyaccess.com. <laughs> <laughs> we practiced that. I feel like we should have saved that. It was our Charlie's <laughs> Angels moment. If you could just, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. That was good. We should do that again at the end, I think. I think so. We should cheers. That's good. We'll save that. Let's mental note. Dr. Normal is not pleased with us right now. No, I'm, I'm fine. Okay. I'm just a little bit busy. <laughs> <laughs> Need to get my graphics put together before the show starts. <laughs> Um, Make a mental note of that. Yeah. I was just gonna say, um, what is the, um, what was like the first event? Because I know you got some cool footage. You know, we kind of started with uh, that whole. Um, okay, we're gonna do this. Mm -hmm. And the way, to me, the way podcasting works is you try to put something together, and and Christine, you know, does some great intro graphics and stuff. But it's still kind of on the net, and it's kind of evolving, and you want people to watch it. Mm -hmm. evolve well, it's with kind you. Of, it's the difference between just having a video and sticking it out there and streaming it yes. and it's, having a show because it's got a right. beginning and an end. But it's also the difference from the doing like network TV where like, you know, here's the script and we hand it to you and get yeah. these shots yeah. and mm -hmm. put it together. Mm -hmm. And so you just went out with the camera. It was like, go out there and go get something. Yeah. And, and what did you get? Um, well, the first event, uh, I work at, at About Us, um, which is a local Portland company, and we happen to have a lot of really great events just happen in our office. And so I started there. I took the camera to work with me one day, and um, there was a an event that was put together. Um, it was a combination of actually three different organizations. And unfortunately, the third one is escaping me. But I know that one of them was Day On and one of them was Net Tuesday. And then there was another one. But the whole point of the event was to bring together um, geeks, local geeks, who, and I know Don's in the audience, he was there, <laughs> um, you know, bring together local geeks and get local nonprofit organizations who were maybe looking for different ways to get their message heard. And so it was such a great event because it was very well orchestrated and the 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 geeks basically adopted the little nonprofit. Mm -hmm. Um the the folks in the audience it's who like were nonprofit. Big brother, big sisters, but it was geeks kind and of, nonprofit. Yeah, and, and they all grouped off and had these really great sessions where questions were answered, progress was made and everybody reconvened at the end of it and talked about what they thought was great, what they could change later, and how they wanted to um, maybe change the the way that the event flowed next time. And it was so it was such a good vibe at the event. And I took 
I took a lot of footage at mm -hmm. that event because it was so inspirational to feel the energy there. And that was really the first one that, that I filmed. And um, I didn't know where I was going. It, it just kind of let, again, like, you know, we're going to let the show sort of grow organically. I just kind of let the filming of the event grow organically, just kind of single people out, people out and was like, can I talk to you? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm um, going to my very leading question uh, there was a very important lesson that you learned from taking that much video though oh. <laughs> what was the very important lesson that was... we learned for people who might want to do this kind of show in the future yeah well you know <laughs> you go into it and you go i don't want to miss a thing but you have to realize that that you're probably not going to and so you don't need to film every single moment because when you when you take 25 minutes of footage and 15 minutes of that is just sort of looking at the group, sort of doing their thing, and it's awesome, but maybe it's not the best footage for making a podcast. And so you know when when you give that to Christine, you got to remember she's got to she's got to watch 25 minutes of stuff, and and there's probably like five minutes of meat in there, but you just have, I, you know you you have to self edit as you go, mm -hmm. and and know that okay so. This is great and compelling. Maybe I need to watch it, but not necessarily film it. Mm -hmm. Just because. And uh, about a weekly access, it's not um, going to be a 90-minute you know, show. It's only going to be you know, segments of what the event was actually about. So it right. could be anywhere from you know, 5 to 10 minutes, mm -hmm. um, maybe 15, depending on how big the actual event is or how long it is. But for the most part, it's just an informational-based podcast um, letting you know like who's at these events and what are these people really about and being able to you know talk one-on-one -on -one with the organizer and kind of get their personality and what the event's about so right um so again it's you only need certain aspects you know but at the same time it is it is good to yeah it, it's kind of fun to capture it you know you go back as the person who filmed it and, mm -hmm. and you're like oh yeah yeah that was really cool and you're like but you know it, you can't really frame a story around it, so yeah. you just have to you just have to be mindful of who your audience is, because it may feel really That's great true. and really cool to you, but you got to think who who's watching it and what are they going to take from this, mm -hmm. and who true. who is the intended audience? Um, you know, for right now, um, because we are we're affiliated with with you guys, Strange Love Live, um, we will. Um, I think naturally sort of capture the the podcast the, the the folks who are already watching and listening to podcasts mm -hmm. um and so probably more tech savvy probably um i don't know already already kind of hooked in so to speak mm -hmm. and and so yeah I know. <laughs> <laughs> and so i i think the hope is to be able to cast a wider net and mm -hmm. and to maybe capture some of the folks who aren't necessarily seeking podcasts right now maybe yeah. some more of the the art community more of the the music community like you were mm -hmm. saying earlier and to, to just sort of expand into that but you know on the flip side of it it would be really great to be able to to bring more new information to folks who maybe feel like they've kind of seen it and heard it and mm -hmm. all yeah. that already on the internet. So yeah, absolutely. So I think we started out with Mike talking to each of you and then trying to crunch a whole <laughs> bunch of happening, uh, you know, getting, getting a website up and you know, it's, it, it's kind of a placeholder website right now and getting an intro done and mm -hmm. figuring out credits and getting the show done. And we tried to squish everything over frantic meals <laughs> and then, yeah. and then we, would, we would all get meals. very sleepy <laughs> and we're like, Oh, now we've eaten and now we've like had one a drink. Or one and meal what did or... we cover? Yeah. I think we, did, I think we had two meals and then we'd get really tired and then we'd be like, what are we talking about? <laughs> okay. Is it nap time yet? Mm -hmm. um, but we tried to squish it all in. And I think we found that especially when you, when you're just kind of meandering with a podcast and it builds up gradually, oh, it just kind of happens. But when you're like, okay, let's get this done and do it, yeah, it's a lot more work to get it set up initially mm -hmm. than you expect it to be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you want to have something right off the bat that people are going to be intrigued with from the beginning. You know, mm -hmm. um, we can start out slow and 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 move along as we go. But if you don't, you know, necessarily start out with a bang, then people will unfortunately forget about you, or you know, you will kind of move to the back end and so that's not what we want we want to be able to deliver you know right from the get-go and and 
you know, the theme that we're kind of going with is, you know, a funky, fresh, you know, punk, fun, um, you know, live kind of feeling. A lot of fun we want to have driven with it. So people will be able to say, hey, do you remember you saw that on Weekly Access? Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Let's go check it out. Mm-hmm. Um, versus, okay, here's another podcast, you know, yeah. about what again? And yeah. So and that's not what we want. It's uh, not, you know. So. And it's a big deal to not take yourself too seriously. Mm-hmm. I mean, we're all human. We we like to be entertained. We like to have fun. And, and sure, there's a message. But at the same time, it's it's totally flexible and, and you know, goofy. And that's, that's the part of it. That's yeah. the best part of it. Yeah. I like the goofy. I like the goofy, too. Well, I, th- I also think that, um, you know, it, yeah, you want to start off on a good foot but then it's not going to be um what you started with you know it's going to evolve oh totally oh yeah i mean everyone's like checks out strange of life now and goes wow you know it's like cameras and graphics and (laughs) saxophones and everything and we're like do you think we started there yeah yeah Yeah. um i used to do the show in my pajamas Oh, those the, were the days, right? Yeah. No, oh, God. There was no video camera. Uh, we're making an announcement. We're going back retro, man. <laughs> you yes. stream in the jammies with the web with EPC the, webcam. And, and the Skype. And uh, the Skype. Nice. You, you guys right. should have like a once a month jammy show. Oh. Jammy show. Oh, well, we did that. Late night jammy we? show. <laughs> we did once do a jammy uh, yeah. episode. Episode number. Hmm. Oh, um, <laughs> We'll talk where, later. Where do we find that on the internet? Yeah. That would be called the Sexiso Two. Yeah. Oh, I heard something about Aaron Hockley like that one. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> something about watching it at work. So I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna not be safe for work. I'm going to maybe yes. turn back on to what what do you think that the delivery method for weekly access is going to be, or is it just going to be? Um, something that you guys load up onto iTunes and that people can download, or is it going to be, is it there going to be a dedicated time? Uh, I, I think we just got into the meeting. I mean, this podcast is done. Now we're actually working. <laughs> Let's work. Okay. <laughs> I'm not asking what, them to give me a day. The I, method, well, yeah. I, I think um, that's, that is something that we are uncertain about mm-hmm. in the right now because we don't know, you know, what exactly we want to do. Do we want to just, you know, film stuff as they go? Because events are flowing all the time. So, mm-hmm. you know, do we want to just film stuff, put stuff together, and then post it on the website? Or do we want to have people subscribe to it? But then again, then we would have to have a, you know, schedule on when we're going to yeah. have these things done versus being organic and then finding our niche and then mm-hmm. where, what everything or how everything flows for us. So... I think we'll have something regular, and it'll be available. Up oh, on definitely iTunes. something oh, yeah. regular. But... I, the the question I have for me is that, you know, this this is started out like a internet radio show, and then we added video and everything. And I think Weekly Access is very video oh, oriented. It's very I don't video. know that very it's going to work in audio too well. We're going to have to get a, a boom. <laughs> <laughs> well, just no, by the standpoint, it's like look at this art, look at these people mm, here. I don't yeah. know. We're, that'll be interesting to no, see. I, I, I definitely see it as being sort of video and being very, um, when, when I say very video, that's kind of a weird way to put it, but being very visually appealing and yeah. exciting. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You know, we, we talk about yeah. color, we talk about, you know, fast transitions, um, you know, <laughs> even during one of our meetings. I mean, does, it, does anybody, okay, maybe I'm dating myself, but like early MTV, like the downtown Julie oh, Brown yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Do you yeah, guys remember yeah. that? Where yeah. she like she would sit in her bed and be like la 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 and like hair and like <laughs> mm-hmm. frills yeah. and whatever and, and I, I think it oh excuse me. <laughs> Sorry, um, Mr. <laughs> but I think about um, you know, how she would just kinda pop in and she would just sort of just I'm downtown. Say, yeah. 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 Whatever. And it and it was just fun, you know? And mm-hmm. I don't know. I, I think the worst thing you can do is is take yourself too seriously. Because for one thing, you're going to get put in your place. But for another thing, it's it. You want to. You you. you I, we're all just people, man. You yeah. know, D- trying to, to get to know one each other, yeah. know what we're all doing, yeah. and yeah. you know, be a community, and you know, integrate people and talk to people that way versus you know being money based or success based. I mean, ultimately, it is a success based project, and but it's also helping other people be successful. Mm-hmm. You know, right. And right. like you said, it is 
again, and it always comes back, but it's very community centered. Yeah. We wouldn't have ever done this if it weren't for the community because Absolutely. then we wouldn't have ever talked to each yeah. other. I mean, exactly. the, the community is our subject mm -hmm. yeah. and the community is also our audience. Mm -hmm. And and sure. so we're, it, it's all just kind of, I mean, the, the, the one thing that, that I want, if there's anything I want to get across is that if you can think of something that, that I need to go out and film, tell me. Mm -hmm. Because that's what this, this that's what it's all about, you know. So once yeah. again, weekly access at Gmail, weekly yes. access on Twitter, mm -hmm. and right. weeklyaccess.com. Dot com. Yep. I think the one thing, if we didn't mention, I mean, the whole idea, you know, we're talking about community, mm -hmm. and you have like Strange of Live, and it's once a week, and it's a guest, you yeah. know, and that's, and then you've got all this stuff going on, mm -hmm. and that was the whole thing. There's so much going on, and there's not enough. You know, somebody streams something once in a while, yeah. but it's really tough, and and that's where you know this just drove. You know, if if I wanted to do another podcast, if I wanted to produce something, what would it be? It would be the anti Strange Love Live. It yeah. would be yeah. actually out there mm -hmm. on site, mm -hmm. you know, in a crowd of people and trying to figure out what's going on. So yeah, I think and with a lot of fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The other yeah. thing I was because excited we're about. Not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. With a fun host. <laughs> yes, and I suck all the fun out of the room. Exactly. <laughs> Whatever, fishnet. <laughs> the, yes. Yeah, the, Again, the audio listeners won't really appreciate that. Um, <laughs> but I think the other exciting thing, and just an insight in the planning, um, which has been very very rapid and very quick and yeah. thrown together is last time we got together two days ago and we just i think we all agreed on this whole um, feel it was not two look. days ago it was last night yeah it was, it last was actually night. Oh. last night oh and then we went to the thing oh god no I wonder know. i'm so tired jeez oh, i know yeah, yeah. it's last night babe sorry mm -hmm. um but the uh is just when we sort of sat around and said, well, what's it, what's it going to feel like? And yeah. we sort of landed on it. We won't give everything away, but, yeah. but yeah. it was just like, really like we all looked at each other. And said, yes, yes, this is it. This yeah. is the feel. I think yeah. it, this fits for everybody. It solidified the, the idea and the process and the work that, you know, we have done and are getting ready to do. And, uh, you know, having that feel like, okay, yes, I know what I can start, you know, approaching. Um, mm -hmm. Definitely made it very solid yeah <laughs> and you know <laughs> nobody's getting paid for this so i mean yeah. that, that's really all that you so you sponsors are welcome yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that's all that, that that's all that, that you you know you, you go out you put a lot of work into it but then there's that it's just the feeling of, of feeling like that you are you're you're creating something mm -hmm. worthwhile yeah. that people are going to enjoy and that you're helping mm -hmm. other people at the same time oh, yeah. and mm -hmm. it's it's not really it's not really about us. It's about sort of just being a channel, you know? Ha, ha, right. I don't know. <laughs> so no funny. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> hey, Ward. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Mark? Yeah. <laughs> she is right, though. It, it isn't about us and what we can do. It's about what our community is doing and how can we deliver that message out to, to the rest of the community. Yeah. So Ask not what, you can, what your community can do for you. Ask what you can do for your community. <laughs> And I think overall, too, you know, um, you know, we're getting close to, to launching. And, yeah. and I think people will see with the website and everything, they'll see little snippets and maybe a little bit behind the scenes of the process as well. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to give, give them a little hints, give them some Yeah, we're going to post the teaser on the site. Mm -hmm. Oh, I would hope so. That would oh, be we should fun. Totally That's right. We should get that up. Yeah. Someone, yeah. Should, someone should work on that. Unfortunately, the entire production crew is... Is in the right there. Uh, doing Strange Love Live. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's hope Korea doesn't bomb the studio right now. Oh no. Um, we'll wipe out two podcasts. Uh, we'll, never, we'll never be seen. The other thing we should mention um, is that we actually do have some exciting things in the works in the next couple months that are coming up. Oh um, yeah. We do. So, I mean, there's a few. We're still we're not announcing anything. I mean, we will be at Bar Camp in yes. two weeks mm -hmm. in, in two strange weeks strange live. love live will be going uh instead of doing it from our studio we'll be doing live from bar camp strange love live. Yeah. but we will be, be uh we'll be streaming one hour early mm -hmm. um but there's some conferences coming up and some things that we're finalizing the details yeah. on mm -hmm. and that will be really interesting opportunities for both strange of live and weekly, weekly access, access. Yes. so so if you're uh you know planning to be at 
oh, I don't know, a Portland conference or two in the next month or so, mm-hmm. maybe keep your eyes open yeah. uh, to see if we're there and if you can come say hi. Well, mm-hmm. just, just watch watch the Twitter feed. Right. Watch the Twitter feed for <laughs> yeah. more information. And, and, and you won't see me. You'll see, like, this much of me, but there will be, like, like a cam- <laughs> like a big black camera, like, right here. This is Nico. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll be like, hey, why didn't you talk to me? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we need to see more of you. We need to work on that. No, no. No, she's going to hide. It's okay. I'm, I'm okay. I'm we'll our get host her. is camera shy. We'll get her. <laughs> yeah. we'll, we'll work on that. I'll talk. We'll, we'll, we'll get her, you know. We'll get her liquored up and then. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> It'll work really, really well that way. <laughs> <laughs> plots. Plots <clears throat> going on right in front of me. Yeah. That's, you know, we're, I would worry about it, but, you know, we're plotting to your face yeah at least you know it's it's you know about it uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I have an I, I i can start thinking of like what my defense will be it's okay mm-hmm. yeah oh, well. mm, a good defense mechanism well i i'm just sitting here thinking my god we're streaming tonight <laughs> i got the graphics ready to go we i, I was it's, a little late on it's been forgetting a, to it's been load a crazy. up the graphics yeah it's been pretty wild yeah. it, it's interesting that that we still um like each other Oh, yeah, there's been no murder except there's, for that other guy that was working on the show. Yeah. We got rid of him. I think, only... you, I think you're making a lot of assumptions here. Exactly. Mike. I know. And, uh, yeah, I, I know. And it's only been, you know, a few weeks. So. <laughs> yeah, there was an overheard on Twitter. Uh, there was an overheard on Twitter during the week that was, uh, just because they're girls doesn't mean they like you. And that was direct reference to you guys. What? I don't remember what the entire conversation one. was, but Michael was feeling very. I never. Mind. I don't. He was very like, oh yeah, it's all happy. Everybody loves me. He didn't really say that, but it was yeah, that yeah. kind of thing. And I was like, just because they're girls doesn't mean that they like you. Oh. Right. Yeah, it was nice. Aww. Very nice. Well, with to- that. <laughs> No, uh, but I will have to say there there was that that fateful night where um, I think we had only met like once before. It was at the last ignite, mm-hmm. and uh, there's a picture out there somewhere. Someone has it on their Flickr. I don't remember who it is. Is it the one with the red feather boa? No, but it, it's the one where I'm like, oh, oh, yeah, I'm like, I'm like one. standing in the Eagle Lodge, uh-huh. and I'm like standing there, like grinning at Mike, and he's he's talking about something. We had a very in depth conversation, the subject of which I don't remember. Mm-hmm. Um, but that was really the first time that I had like, I remember the photo, <laughs> yeah. And yeah. so it was at the place with the red boa. Yes, it was at the place yes. with the red boa. But I remember. I wish I remember who took the photo, but oh, I remember the photo. Yeah, and so we were. <laughs> And so he's like, uh, kid, can I meet you and, and Jed? Hi, Jed. Because um, I want to talk to you about something. I'm like, what is, what is this? Oh, I'm in trouble. <laughs> what did Department I do? Department of Homeland Security, man. <laughs> what, did, what did I do? <laughs> and so then he suggests this weekly access thing. And I was kind of like, whoa. And at the same time, kind of like, oh, God. <laughs> this is a big commitment, you know? Like Relieved and kind of terrified like Come on. this is I the internet it? man let's you know it's it's not we don't waste time yeah. like, mm-hmm. well you, you can off. you can go out and completely screw up and mm-hmm. then just kind of regroup and a week exactly. later come out with something else and people are totally exactly cool. you know, that's oh, what that i love work. about the internet it's very yeah. accepting exactly it's very exactly. accepting <laughs> although it has a long memory so it well does. it may accept your it doesn't forget your imperfections it does not forget nope um, with that, I think it's time to wrap up, but if you want to find out more about Weekly Access and if you want to actually see an episode of Weekly Access, keep your eye on the Weekly Access Twitter stream, uh, on the Strange Love Live Twitter stream because we'll make sure that you're updated as well. Yes. And check out the website for more information. Next week on Strange Love Live, we have a special guest all the way from Australia. We've got Irk from IrkPod joining us on the couch. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Night. Bye-bye.